Hello, Internet. Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Do you remember Rock Hippo Week on Big Dave is Cheap? Well, I certainly hope you do. It was only a couple of months ago, back in the first week of April 2012, and it was a week where I took a look at Rock Hippo Productions' two free-to-play games, Microvolts and Brawl Busters. But in addition to the games, I also took a look at the company itself, including an analysis of their monetization model and what I guess you could call a scathing review of their website. Yes, I did in fact say that their website looked like a scam and I would not trust them with my credit card information for fear that it would be misappropriated. Well, that got back to Rock Hippo Productions and they sent me a very nice and polite email letting me know that my concerns had been heard and in fact it was something that they had heard many times in the past. And because of that, they let me know that at some point in the future they would actually be redesigning rockhippo.com. Well, we are in that future right now. Our cars fly, our meals are served to us as a green gelatinous goo. I don't know where it comes from, but it tastes really good. And rockhippo.com looks like this. Yeah, it's like a proper website now. It looks like someone actually set out to design it this way and didn't just grab a template out of the business section of their host provider's template library. So if we take a quick look at it, here's your splash page. Got some press releases here. They're a little bit old, but if you haven't released any press releases since February 16th, you just haven't. Nice little promotional video here. Rock Hippo Productions, what are they all about? Well, they're all about rocking or getting rocked. And they'll challenge you to play their games, Microvolts and Brawl Busters. Over here you have links to the individual sections for each of those games. They do look identical, but they each contain the information which is relevant to those games. The ability to download, register, and get some media kit info if you need some images like I did when I made my first videos, logos and things like that. It's nice to have a link like that right there and clearly marked. Promotional videos, screenshots, all sorts of good stuff. The kind of stuff that you want to see on a company's website when they are setting out to inform you about their games. We also have a news section, and the news is... What? It's actually from the last seven days? Wow. So they actually are now keeping updated news feeds coming in from the in individual Brawl Busters and Micro Volts sites. So that's really nice. It's good that they actually are using this as a, a, a sort of a portal of sorts. And while it isn't on par with a company like uh, NCSoft or even someone like Nexon, a, a fellow a competitor in the free-to-play market, uh, they have something going here which is much better than what they had before. They'll round out the website with your typical stuff, their mission statement, community, communication, and competition. I don't mean to belittle that, but if you want to read about their mission statement, come to their website and do that. You can also take a look at their partners. These are the guys who are actually making the games that Rock Hippo brings to you for your mass consumption. And finally, if you are interested in perhaps employment at Rock Hippo? It seems that they do have a few positions. Ooh, IT technician. Hmm. Mm, server uptime traffic. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll bookmark this for later as uh, I frankly could probably use a job. It would be nice. Moving on. Contact information as well as support for each individual game. These will just go to the support pages on the official sites. That's probably for the best. I don't have any problem with that. So that is the new rockhippo.com. It is now a website that I might actually give my credit card information to. Maybe. So much thanks to the Nitro Mountain, the one and only my Aussie friend from the future who reported this from the future, that the future was now and I could see this website. So much appreciation to Nitro for letting me know that rockhippo.com had been updated, and I felt that it was important to do this video because this was a big critique I had about this company, and it was something that left, well, a question mark in my head about exactly how they intended to do business. And now that they've come through on their promise and redesigned rockhippo.com, it makes me feel a little bit better about the company as a whole. 
So again, this is not breaking any new ground. It's not the best website in the world. It's not even on par with something like Turbine's website or again, someone like Nexon, who's also out there in the free-to-play market. Uh, it is not quite working as a portal where you can access all of your game accounts and things like that, but it is a much better representation of a business website. This is rockhippo.com. It has everything that you would expect to find on this website and more. So guys, I have been Big Dave. This has been my re-review of rockhippo.com. And until next time, take it easy.